and then the other thing is I um, I don't want to be around any people. I find them really noisy. Yeah. Noisy and um, mm-hmm. I'm, not, in, and I'm not interested in what they've got to say. Mm-hmm. And um, I mean, I, I've got children mm-hmm. and I'm expected to kind of interact. Mm-hmm. But I, I have no interest. Mm-hmm. It's You have love? Yes, a lot of love. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> isn't it? Because you are breaking some mighty taboos there, isn't it? You know, I mean, even your children, you're not interested in what they have to say. But no. <laughs> Do you have to because they're your children be interested in what they have to say? <laughs> Sometimes it can be like this. You don't have to say it's a forecast for the rest of your life. But it can be a phase that you have tasted. You know, you cannot stand anybody's company. Maybe even your own. Yeah. Then where will you go now? I don't know. Uh, Find out. Even leave everybody, including you. You do it in the dreams, in the deep sleep, you know. You leave everyone, including you. Now do it in the waking state. Will it get better? Huh? Will it get better? We're waiting to find out. You are our guinea pig <laughs> for the moment. <laughs> and as many has wished to join. Why not? Huh? You do it every night, willingly. You let go. And then there is no task to be empty of self. No no task, no job, no yoga, no exercise to go into deep sleep. It simply happens. Now, consciously, hmm, depart from even the person you take yourself. You said the rest is easy. Life is helping you. I don't find interest in interacting with other human beings at the moment. Okay? And even my family and we're saying, it's okay for the moment. It's okay. Let's have a look and see if this is some psychological thing. Because sometimes we can do that in a psychological state. Some people have said, they have one girl, she told me, you know, that um, at one point she was so hurt by relationship, her boyfriend left her, that she said, I'm never going to love again. What a thing, isn't it? I don't want this experience again. So, love, shop closed. Okay? And then for years, she was not able to love anybody at all. In any form. Okay? Then she came and she says, you know, I think I've had enough of it. Because I feel my heart is closed. It's like a heart of stone now. You see? They said, you created, no? Like that. Because you made something, you say, I don't want to, you know, maybe it have may arisen out of some emotional state or something, but you send a clear message inside yourself, I don't want to feel. I don't want to feel, because when people come too close, I get hurt. I start to trust them, or something becomes very vulnerable, and, you know, I'm not having it. And something in your being obeys this, and you shut down. Hmm? We want to see if it's that, or is it that you're finding, which often people do, that as you go inside, into your heart, and begin to experience from the inner realm of being, that the outer life seems to slow down, and you're not so interested in the activities that many people seem to be interested. You don't want to go shopping, you're not looking on uh, QVC or whatever it is, or you're not going to the mall, and you not want to, you know, go to some tea party or something. You don't be interested in, you know, who got married and reading Woman's Own or something like that. You're not interested in anything at all. Hmm? And if people said, oh, you know, even family, we haven't seen you for a while. It's Auntie's birthday coming up. You know, it's like you know, I don't want to do it. 
and it can feel perfectly like left alone to myself. I'm quite fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then when you're by yourself, only you alone now is in your universe. Are you fine? Then who must you be then? Because even you don't disturb you. Everybody disturb you, but you don't disturb you. <clears throat> no. I have. I feel so much love yeah. for other people. Yeah. Um, so it's not that I don't love other people. Mm. I do. I have a lot of love for other people. Mm. And. Um, I have a lot of um, um, intuitive feelings about other people, um, like how they're feeling uh. and s stuff like that, uh. if they talk to me. Uh. But I just feel I want to be quiet inside because sometimes they just talk about stuff that means nothing. You have to find the quiet inside you, in spite of the noise outside. It's too much to ask of life, that everybody be quiet, so that I can be quiet. Yeah, I know. You see? You must find that which is not disturbed and not disturbable. Not disturbed and not disturbable. You see, so something is not right. You see, mm -hmm. and even other people, other people, other. You see, so other and I, also. First, the first born is I. I must be there before other come, because without I, there is no other. You see. So this I that sees strongly other, get rid of this one. This I is also other to something else. This I is also other to something much, much more beautiful. Hmm? Can we find him? I see. Otherwise, you're always going to be your own favorite person. Okay. Favorite person in the world is me. So this one you must give him a parcel. How? That which perceives even I personally, that which perceives the I person which perceives I person. Be one with that. That's very, very, very this is the height of your discovery now. And then nothing will disturb you. Not people, hmm? not ideas, no demons, not doctors, not nobody will disturb you. This I want you to not stop short. Don't end your inquiry uh, prematurely. Go fully, come fully in like this. As long as I and other you will have trouble. Then you say, but that's a, that's a very big step to take, to dissolve other. It's, I mean, who can do it? Hmm? Can I look at an apple and think it's me? No, it's not like that. So don't waste time practicing that. Okay? Hmm? It's not about going and says, I am the apple, I am the tree, I am the cloud, because anyway, you don't believe it. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, so it's a futile practice. Okay, but simply be in the place where you can see even the me that you identify yourself to be. Even this feeling, you know, I who perceives other. I have a lot of love for other people. I have a lot of compassion for other people. It's just that when they make their noise, I get disturbed. So this link is not to link. You see? You find the one who is undisturbable. It's right here, he's right here. We don't have to go even to the next side of this screen. Right here, inside this room, inside your heart, inside the inside of your heart. Hmm? It's 
not comparing your actions. This one is not comparing your actions. It's not comparing your thoughts. He's not saying, oh, you know, but you thought wrong. It's not beyond all of that, not concerned about that. It's a place of total stillness. But there's nobody there being still. And it's going to become uh, sparklingly clear for you like this. So first thing, you see, I already feel very good about your coming up. Because in saying these things, I feel there's so much space in you for this. There's so much space in you for this. But just maybe holding on to some, some concepts, blocking, they create a block when none need to be there. You're much greater than the than the shape you've created of yourself. You're much bigger than that. You see? Yeah. When you are in that space of neutrality, natural neutrality, you see, the whole world fits into you. Hmm? Your love encompasses everyone. Hmm? And it need not be a certain style of love. It's not, you know, kind of like affectionate love. Love has very, very broad thing. It can chop your leg off mm. yeah? to save your your being. It's wise, you see. But it sees this whole world and it's your child. But it's not a practice, you know, not a practice. This is beyond practice, much more natural than practice. Practice implies that something has to be practiced to get to. I say, no, it has to be recognized. Then if there is a practice, it, the practice is to keep out the wrong ideas from coming into you. Not to find the truth. 